Greg Gutfeld argues that Joe Biden leans heavily on Hollywood celebrity support, while Donald Trump pulls in crowds through his own strengths. Biden's backers highlight the disparity in supporters, suggesting that Biden's fans are cloistered in wealth and status, while Trump's followers feel the direct effects of policies. Trump goes to the hood, <laughs> Biden's at a Hollywood fundraiser with Clooney. Is this a psyop again? Yeah, I believe it is a psyop. It's funny. Thank God Trump didn't affect some kind of like uh, impersonation like Hillary and Joe do whenever they're in front of a certain audience. The spectacle of Hollywood versus Trump rallies, for example, speaks to a glaring contrast. Trump relies on himself to pull in a crowd. Biden has to rely on an army of bold-faced celebrities or nobody would attend. We know that. And drill down and then you see who supports each side. On Trump's, it's people who are directly affected by the policies of either president. With Biden, the people who support him, they're unaffected by any policy due to their wealth or status and their profound separation from the real world. Only they can endure the malaise. Biden is their luxury belief among many. As for black voters, let's state the obvious. It's not black females. It's men who are fleeing that party. And the reason for that is you can't when you're being told you cannot achieve success in America without us giving it to you. That's insulting. Being a man in that party does not do you any favors unless you identify as a woman. There really is no opportunity for you. A man doesn't want to be defined as a victim. No man would ex would want to be part of a party that sees self-defense, self-reliance, or the pursuit of success as somehow flaws. Cherishing individual strength and authenticity. Greg Gutfeld's assertion that Donald Trump relies on his own charisma to attract crowds underscores a conservative belief in self-reliance. This contrasts with Joe Biden's dependence on celebrity endorsements, which can be seen as seeking external validation rather than genuine backing. Trump's ability to connect directly with people resonates with conservative values of authenticity and straightforward communication. Gutfeld points out a perceived disconnect between Biden's supporters and the real-world impact of policies. Liberal elites, he says, are insulated from the repercussions of the policies they advocate, which more significantly affect working class and middle class Americans. These critiques highlight public concern that policymaking should reflect the actual needs and experiences of ordinary citizens, not the ideals of a privileged minority.